morning. Right, it's Saturday morning, it's awesome now, um, end of September. But the weather is, it's not hot, but it's sunny. And um, we are going on a ride down to Epic Forest and specifically to one of the oldest motorcycling meeting points in the UK, which is called the Original Sea Hut. Um, at High Beach, I will tell you more as we go. So we're off, right? And um, this is the B1383. Um, where we've come south from Cambridge. Uh, we are south of Newport here, uh, south of Saffron Walden. Uh, we did go past Audley End House, which was really beautiful. And if, if I'd had the camera on, I'd have shown you that. But I didn't, so you've missed that bit. And um, it's quite forested. We're, we're nowhere near Epping Forest yet, but a theme of this ride is there's going to be lots of trees. This road used to be the old A11 back in the day. And um, for that reason, it's quite a good road and it's reasonably um, well surfaced. This is the village of Quendon. There's lots of villages like this, lots of big sort of small market towns, big villages. And um, because it's the old A11, it was been a sort of trading route for many years. You've got these nice big, big, big villages with big houses and um, old-fashioned coaching inns. So this is a nice route to go. If you were coming down to the Tea Hut like we are from somewhere like Cambridge or Peterborough, I would not go on the A11 in a million years. Uh, the M11 even, sorry, in a million years because you just, you're missing out on all this. Beautiful daylight today. You've got the sun coming through the trees and you get to see places like this. So Quendon's one of my nice, my favorite places to ride through. And um, this road pretty much goes all the way down to London. What we're going to do there, we're going to turn off and we're actually going to go through Stansted Airport at one point. And um, then we're going to go on really, really little roads. So the original tea hut, or the biker's hut, as it's sometimes referred to, or sometimes called High Beach, um, it's a little hut, as you might have guessed, in uh, Epping Forest and it's been there since the 1930s and in the 1930s Speedway was really popular in Epping Forest. People would come out from East London to watch the Speedway and there was basically nowhere to get tea or any food so the original tea hut, biker's hut, popped up and um, it's been there ever since and I've been told it's still run by the same family now we've just come, this is, this is the beginning of Stansted here, the village of Stansted, which the full name of which is Stansted Mount Fidget. Um, the airport is obviously just known as Stansted. I believe we've lost Flora and Kate, the thumbs up. I've just had the thumbs up from Ian, which either means we've not lost them or they've been missing for hours. Um, I think it's the latter. So we're heading up through, uh, we're kind of bypassing Stansted Mount Fidget. This is Stansted Mount Fidget. So if you've ever flown from Stansted Airport and you wondered what the town of Stansted Mount Fidget looks like, this is it. Lots of old fashions, um, old fashioned pubs, half timbered buildings. It's quite a nice town. And we're gonna, we're kind of just skirting the edge. If you go through the high street, there's a windmill and everything and proper shops. So it's quite a little, decent place and um, we're skirting through Stansted and we're gonna go because we're avoiding dual carriageways and indeed avoiding the M11 we're gonna go that's a nice pub there on the left look at that um, we're gonna go through the airport itself so through all the long stay parking and much as that sounds weird it's better than going on all the other roads. There is some very, very narrow farm track that you can go down the eastern side of the airport, but we're not doing that. Now, I've just slowed down a bit. I think Matt went towards the railway station, in which case there'll be a little diversion needed, but let's see. So we're heading up towards, just pulling over here and see who we've lost.
Right, so that's Ian telling me that actually we've lost Flora, Kate and Matt. So we're going to carry on. Matt's actually caught up. Um, so yeah, this is the airport. There's the end of the runway. If you ride down here sometimes and you're lucky, you'll get a plane going right overhead. Um, we didn't get one. So once we've gone around the airport, we've we've got to go, unfortunately, much as I'm avoiding the M11 like the plague, we do need to cross the A120. And so to do that, we have to come to the massive M11 Stansted interchange, literally just to turn left onto the very narrow road that we're going to take through Great Hellingbury. So that's the big roundabout, we're literally on it for two seconds. This is where I expected to lose everybody. I didn't expect to lose everybody in Stansted. So we're heading there, it's a very narrow road, it's an unclassified road just here, this one on the right. Let's see if they've all caught us up. Yet yeah, we've still got mats, there we go. And so, so we're going down through Great Hellingbury, uh, through Little Hellingbury, then right screen, it's the A1060 it becomes. And um, we're going to stop in Hatfield Heath for a quick cigarette. And the purpose of that stop, because this is a 125 friendly ride, the purpose of that stop was to let people catch up. So we'll see whether they do or not. Right, so this is the approach to Hatfield Heath, and um, when you get to Hatfield Heath, it's quite a complex junction, even though it doesn't look like it, and it's very easy to go the wrong way. Nice old grain mill there on the right hand side, so there's also a nice pub in Hatfield Heath, and if you're not coming from Cambridge and you're coming from somewhere like Norwich or, um, I don't know, Barry St Edmunds you can come down the B183 here and that's a really really good motorcycling ride um, so I recommend that you often get the bike photographers on that road we could have gone east a bit just to do the B183 but I do it all the time and I want to get to the tea hut so and we've had an equally nice ride so lots of lots of ways to go across to navigate through Hatfield Heath um, it's a village with a big heath in the middle, as the name may suggest. There is the heath there on the right-hand side. And we are going to pull over in front of these houses just opposite this pub. And we're going to have a nice smoke. And it also gives the 125 riders a little rest. And, um, I mean, we've all been there. But I find where it is. It's a bit, the heath is bigger than it looks. Here we are, there's the pub, and this is a planned stop, so even though it's only a, a 1 hour 40 ride, I've planned a little cigarette break, and here we are. And it's a nice place to stop too. Right, we've come south on Matching Road, this is Matching Green, which is a great name for a village. There's there's another village nearby called Matching Tai, which amuses me. And um, it's another one of these big villages with a massive green in the middle. So uh, once we've navigated through Matching Green, we will be continuing south towards High Laver and then onto North Weald Bassett. Now, some of you may know North Weald Bassett because of North Weald Aerodrome. Um, and also where they have a market there as well where you can buy lots of knocked off goods I haven't been for many years so it's all very pretty this is all nice rural Essex and um, the minute you're through here we once literally once you cross the M11 and we're gonna we've crossed the M11 multiple times on this ride um, I haven't always shown it on the camera but we've zigzagged either way of it uh, either side of it all the way down and um, once we cross the M11, we then hit what is, I believe, the very, very northern tip of Epping Forest. So we'll be in the trees again on the approach to Epping itself. And we're going to have to, unfortunately, go through Epping High Street. 
here we are now we're going to cross the M11 in a second so we've just gone past the airfields there is the M11 I'm glad we're not on it and this is now Epping Road it's the B181 if you're interested and this takes us all the way into Epping High Street which is where we are now now Epping's a very nice town it's the far eastern end of the central line on London Underground despite it not being in London we are still in the proper county of Essex. We are however inside the M25 but we are not in London officially. We're very close um, so there's no ULES here which is just as well and also Epping High Street is notoriously busy but on a motorbike we can literally just go through if you put in your sat nav on it will try and take you on a wild goose chase to avoid Epping High Street. On a motorbike I wouldn't bother because you're not going to be sitting in traffic. Some lovely buildings in the High Street as well. And then once you get to the other side through the High Street you will cross under the M25 and then you're in the forest proper. This is the deepest darkest part of Epping Forest. And we're heading towards High Beach now. So it's densely wooded. I believe Henry VIII used to hunt deer in Epping Forest. And also murderers from London used to put their dead bodies in Epping Forest. I don't know if that's just in films. Although I'm sure some did. Once you get to the roundabout here, there's a Thai pub on your left hand side. And once you see that Thai pub you know that you're nearly here so a lot of the roundabouts in the forest look the same because there's obviously not much to go on as way of landmarks so we're turning right and the original tea hut is just up this little slight hill there's the time pub behind me do you believe there's a cattle grid I've come up here a few times and I've, I've been going too fast and I've gone past it so we're not doing that today I've been going slow today because I've got people behind me on 125s. So here it is, you can see the bikes. Looking good, good turnout. Let's see. Here we go. Now, as often happens here, right, people park in this immediate bit not realising that they're blocking the whole of the rest of the bike park. I think I can get around that. That guy is just indicating me that there's a space. There is a little narrow gap. Look at that R1. That is beautiful. Yes, yeah, so you've got all this bike park in here that can be used. There's Flora and Kate. So they, they overtook us, but we did wait and they probably came down the main road. Interesting that they got here first. Plenty of bikes here. There's, there's always plenty of bikes here. And the food is really good too. I'm not. Right, we are off. Uh, we didn't stop long. I do want to say something like about the original tea hut. Bear in mind, middle of the forest, there's no phone reception for a start. See, Darius is moving his bike by hand. I'm faffing about on this gravel and mud. Um, so no phone reception whatsoever. Um, it's cash only at the original tea hut. Don't do what I did, which is just go up there and go cheeseburger. There's some absolutely fantastic stuff on that menu, including like salt beef and bagels and liver sausage. I've never seen a liver sausage on a menu anywhere else in the UK. So look at the menu and have something nice. I mean, the cheeseburger was nice that I had, but actually, there's far, far better stuff that I wish I tried. I think we'll be going that way. Oh, uh, Ian's oh. Uh, Ian's leading, and I think we're going left. Alright. But we'll find out in a minute. Right, so Ian's gonna lead. Uh, we're gonna go a different way. We're now heading west, still in the forest. Um different way I'm now in second position I'm no longer leading 
lovely church over there that's high beach church i believe loads of places to park in the forest as well lots of car parks some have toilets some have kiosks like that one um high beach is the only one that the bikes really go to so highly recommend it uh, it's worth coming down from cambridge for and it avoids the ULES. I also believe someone said, and it's not strictly true this, but someone said the original Tea Hut is the oldest motorcycling venue in London. Now it's not because it's not in London, but what they mean is it's possibly older than the, um, what do you call it, than the Ace Cafe. So I see where they're coming from. Um, all in all, a nice day out. And um, I'm now going to follow Ian nice not to be leading and um, have a relaxing ride home and I will see you back at home. Well that was fun I really enjoyed it it's actually surprisingly early it's only just gone three it was about half three and I'm back um, but it was a short ride. It's not as interesting as going north from Cambridge and it's not as pretty as going east because you've got obviously once you get towards London you've got a lot more traffic I mean a lot of traffic but it doesn't mean there's not nice places to explore really enjoyed it recommended definitely don't go on the main road to do the uh, do the pretty ways like we did and um yeah nice ride thanks for watching